I'm Gene Rayburn. Another pirate. And you, I don't know who you are. <laughs> Join some other minute investigators and thank you very much. <laughs> Goodbye. Today's consolation prizes are Glamour Top, the new do-it-yourself kitchen countertop is custom fitted, ready for you to install a replacement countertop in over 50 gorgeous colors and patterns. And Blue Luster Shampoo and Blue Luster Plus Carpet Shampoo with grease cutters and brightness to remove ground in dirt and grime. And Potato Toppers, exciting flavor, color, and texture for baked mashed and boiled potatoes. Just sprinkle and serve in your grocery's produce section. Potato Toppers. And entertain in style with beautiful Dinoware paper plates from Fonda. Dinoware, the heavyweight paper plates with extra thickness, firmness, and strength. Dinoware. And a deep fryer and a supply of spoon and fried donut mix. Make delicious hot fresh donut holes in minutes. Just add water to Golden Dip's new spoon and fried donut mix. Great family fun. And Playmobil, the little people that can go anywhere, do anything, and can be anyone your kids can imagine. That's Playmobil. And from Hawaiian Tropic comes an attractive beach mat and Hawaiian Tropic natural tanning lotions and oils. Hawaiian Tropic, the tan of the island. <laughs> This is Johnny Olson speaking for Max Game. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. This program was edited for broadcast. From Hollywood, it's the Newlywed Game. And here are today's newlyweds. Couple number one walked down the aisle nine months ago, Wanda and Michael Brown. Couple number two did the I Do 17 months ago, Linda and Bob Matthews. Couple number three made an official three months ago, Cindy and Howie Lemus. And couple number four exchanged their vows four and a half months ago, Randy and Antoine Hill. And now, here's the star of the newlywed game, Bob Eubank! Ah, thank you! <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Newlywed Game, and a special hello to our newlywed couples. How are you? Ready to play? Yeah. Okie dokie. Tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to start the show off by asking the husband some questions. So what I want the ladies to do is to go off to our soundproof room. Would you do that for me, please? And while the ladies are leaving, I'd like to remind our husbands, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions. As you predict, your wife will answer the same question when she returns. Now, remember, if her answer matches your prediction, you then get five points. One couple with the most points at the end of the show wins a great second honeymoon. So, gentlemen, if you are ready, here's your first question. Gentlemen, comparing your wife's body to planet Earth, which of the following bodies of water will she say you rarely sail? Her Arctic Ocean, her Pacific Ocean, her Atlantic Ocean, or her Gulf of Mexico? <laughs> Antoine, which of those bodies of water do you rarely sail? Uh, I'm going to say her Arctic. You rarely sail her Arctic Ocean? Yeah, because it's deep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Howard? I have to say the uh, Gulf of Mexico. You rarely sail her Gulf of Mexico? Yes, because um, I'm just going to stick with that answer. That's fine with me. <laughs> hey, Bob. I would say the Arctic Ocean, just uh, you don't go down there. Her Arctic, okay. Michael? Her Pacific. You rarely sail her Pacific Ocean. Right. <laughs> it's very wide. I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, tell me of all of your wife's friends, who will she say is really the worst influence on her? Give me a first name only, please, Howie. I'd have to say her friend Stephanie. She's always jumping from guy to guy. Stephanie's a bad influence on your wife. I would think so, yes. Yeah, I would think so too. Bob? I would say uh, her friend Kelly. She's Kelly. just, she sticks up for herself and takes care of her, and sometimes she takes my wife with her. Oh, yeah, you don't want a woman that sticks up for herself, <laughs> man. That's dangerous. <laughs> Michael. I would have to say LaRonda. LaRonda's bad influence in your wife. Bad influence on my wife. Oh, be careful. Antoine. I would say Rietta. Rietta is a bad influence yeah, on Brandy? Real lazy. She don't like to do nothing. Who, Brandy right. doesn't? No, her friend, but, you know, some, you know, they hang together. So. Yeah, they hang together. Yeah, gotcha. Next question, gentlemen. How will your wife say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. To start off the baseball season, they throw out the first ball. And to start off our relationship, I wanted to throw out my wife's what? Bob? <laughs> her brother. <laughs> her brother. <laughs> Took you a long time, but I like the answer. Michael? <laughs> Her, her clothes is too small for her. Her clothes are too small too for small. her. Yeah. All over the house, too small. Too small. Antoine? Her whole family. Her whole family. Her mother, her brother. Get rid of all of them. 
<laughs> you seen them, Bob? I'm no, I haven't you. seen them. Are they a pain? <laughs> hey, the pain is the best way, the clean way to describe them. Yes, I got you. Howie. I'd have to say her boyfriend. We're going to throw out her boyfriend. I had to throw out her boyfriend. Well, I don't blame you. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll be right back to reunite these newlyweds. We'll see how well her husbands have predicted what their wives will say right after these messages. Groundbreakers, risk takers, and dream makers. Is your basic profession that of an actress? Yes. Join us for our four hour event. Let's meet our next team of challengers. Show. Program. Yes. Honoring the greats who grace the game show stage. Scully Mitchell. Cap Galloway. Odata. Ruby D. Lim Swan. African American greats. February 26th on Buzzer. Everybody, gentlemen, we recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them flat on your laps. Each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. One couple of them with the most points at the end of the show wins a great second honeymoon. And we're going to find out who that's going to be right now. Ladies, comparing your body to planet Earth, which of the following bodies of water does your husband rarely sail? Does he rarely sail your Gulf of Mexico, your Atlantic Ocean, your Pacific Ocean, or your Arctic Ocean? Wanda, where does he rarely sail? Arctic Ocean. He rarely sails your Arctic Ocean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Michael says he rarely sails he ra your Pacific Ocean. He says it's too big. Okay. <laughs> Linda. I'll say the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean. He said he rarely sails your Arctic Ocean. Yes, okay. <laughs> 
Cindy. Atlantic. Atlantic Ocean. He said he rarely sails your Gulf of Mexico. You know I never go down south. <laughs> <laughs> you, are... you always complain. I complain about that? Oh, you do have a so Gulf of Mexico uh, south. You do have a problem, don't you, well, Cindy? Well, I was thinking yeah. that was way south. Yeah, that was way south. But that, no, it's way about as south, south as you is can get. Like around here. Brandy. <laughs> um, Atlantic Ocean. He rarely sails your Atlantic Ocean. He mm -hmm. said he rarely sails your Arctic Ocean. Oh, okay. I don't know. What I that know where it was. <laughs> <laughs> I made it. <laughs> what, what's, what's the matter, Antoine? I said, I didn't know where it was. <laughs> you just know you don't go there, right? Yeah. <laughs> Choose something. Next question, ladies. Out of all of your friends, who is really the worst influence on you? Give me a first name only, please, Linda. I would say my friend Kelly. Kelly. Your husband said it would definitely be your friend Kelly. Yes, yes. that's right. <laughs> Cindy. Stephanie, she's a real party Stephanie, girl. Stephanie, your husband predicted it would be Stephanie. Yes. <laughs> Brandy. Um, Rietta, because she never picks me up for school when I'm supposed Rietta to. Rietta is a bad influence on you. Okay. Yeah, I never go to school. Antoine said it's One definitely time. Rietta. Yes. <laughs> All right. Wanda. Carmen. Carmen. Now, now he said uh, LaRonda is a bad influence on you. <laughs> Here, let me try another question. We're having so much fun with that one. Ladies, how did your husband complete this sentence? This is him talking. To start off the baseball season, they throw out the first ball. To start off our relationship, I wanted to throw out my wife's what? Cindy. Uh, my aggressiveness? Aggressiveness. He said he wanted to throw out your boyfriend. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't know I had a boyfriend till later. Oh, I see, okay. Brandy. My dad's bad attitude. Your dad's bad attitude, all right. Antoine said he, he's gonna throw out your whole darn family is what he's gonna do. <laughs> you know your family, they cuckoo. They're all cuckoo? He loves them. They're Antoine, better now, but when we first it? got together. Oh, you got them trained a little bit. Yeah, is that, yeah, does that count, yeah. family check. dad? No, it doesn't count, no. <laughs> Sorry. Judges? No. Yeah, the whole darn family. Wanda, he wanted to throw out what? My ex-boyfriend, it has to be. Your ex-boyfriend? It has to be. All right, now, Michael said he wanted to throw out uh, the clothes, clothes that are too, are too small, small for you. Throwing them out, oh. throwing them out. But not in the beginning of our relationship. They wasn't too small. All right. You mean you've gained a little weight since you've met oh, him? Oh, I didn't gain a, yeah. How yeah, come? Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she can't push away that eating. She eat oh, is that, much. she can't push it away? She eat when I eat. Oh, and you all eat the all the time? All yeah. the time. Yeah. All through the night. He eats she, at night? She right yeah. behind me. Really, she's right behind you. I'm up, she's up, eating. Right <laughs> he don't even have his eyes open. He just eat. He, just he doesn't have his eyes open? No, just grab something and eat it. Right behind me. And you're right behind him, eating too. <laughs> well, not now. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Linda. I'm going to say my curfew. Your curfew. He said he wanted to throw out, card please, your brother. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, we'll be right. right back to see how well the wives can predict what their husbands will say right after these messages.
Welcome back, everybody. Now, ladies, your husbands are all secluded off stage, and it's your turn to predict what they will say. Remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. And here's our first one. Ladies, who will your husband say satisfied more sexual fantasies before the two of you started dating? You or him? Who satisfied more sexual fantasies, Cindy, before the two of you started dating? Definitely me. You did? Oh, yeah. I went out with a lot of people before we got married. Is that right? Way more than him, so it was oh. me. Okay. Not anymore, though. Linda. I would say myself. You satisfied more sexual fantasies. Yeah. Well, you, you little devil, you. I'll be well. darned. Yeah. Hey, Wanda. Definitely me. You did? Yes. You satisfied more sexual fantasies than Michael? Yes. I'll be darned. Does he know that? Yeah, he yeah. knows. Okay. Yeah. Brandy. He did. He did. He yeah. satisfied yeah. more. All right, next question, ladies. If I, if I gave you a red magic marker and asked you to draw a big red X over the one thing on your husband that you'd most like to make disappear right now, what will he say you would X out? Linda? His gut. His, His gut. stomach. Okay. He, he does this thing where he pushes it out on oh, purpose. Oh, I can hardly wait to see that. And it's, oh, no, yeah. you Wanda. don't want to see that. Definitely his stomach. His stomach? Yes. X that sucker out. Yes. Okay. Brandy. His big, flabby... Yucky stomach. Big, <laughs> flabby, yucky stomach. Yes. Is it really big and yucky? It's big. Is it yucky? It's got stretch marks on it right here. Is that right? <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Boy, I'm sorry, his, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, his it's, family's just going to razz him. No, they know, they know. Oh, they know, I see. <laughs> Cindy. Uh, oh, his feet. His feet? They're hairy, and then the toes are, like, really round. Really? They look like Flintstone toes. Oh, they're horrible. <laughs> Bad. I can just hear him leaving the bathroom in the morning going, yabba dabba doo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here's the last of our 10 point questions. Ladies, how will your husband say you would complete this sentence? This is you talking. If Ellen DeGeneres can announce on television that she's gay, the least my husband can do now that he's on TV is admit that he. What? Wanda? Boy, it's a lot of things he is. I know. <laughs> what are you going to say, though? Admit that he's um crazy. That he's crazy? All yes. Right. Fine. Brandy? Admit that um that he that he went to um Walmart to buy some clothes to, to wear today because he didn't have any clothes that, <laughs> that he could wear here. <laughs> He went to Walmart to buy these clothes? Yeah, because it's open 24 hours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cindy. That sometimes, well, most of the time, he's he's wrong. He never admits that he does anything is wrong. Admit that he, he is wrong. He can be wrong. Okay. That he can be wrong. Fine. Linda? I would say the amount, or admit to the amount of um, food he, he can consume in Pardon one me? sitting. Food consumption. It, he eats like a half a gallon of ice cream at one time. So is admit that he can eat a lot of food. Just, yes. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Twenty-five point bonus question, ladies. Which of the following shirts will your husband say he owns more of? T-shirts, sweatshirts, button-down shirts, or pullover shirts? Brandy. T-shirts. T-shirts. Cindy. T-shirts. T-shirts. Linda. T-shirts. T-shirts. Wanda. T-shirts. T-shirts. Ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husbands to compare answers on the newlywed game right after these messages.
Welcome back, everybody. Gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. And remember, these questions are now worth 10 points. So pay attention, you guys. These are the big ones. First question, gentlemen, who satisfied more sexual fantasies before the two of you started dating? You or your wife? Bob? <laughs> I did. You did. Way yeah. to go, Bob. Oh, I didn't want you to let me down. Yeah, with a name like Bob, you know, by gosh. Linda said for sure. No, she did, Bob. Oh, yeah. She satisfied a lot more, she said. Uh, what do you think, Howie? I, I would have to say I would. Oh, for sure. I knew you'd say that. She said definitely she I'm did, pal. Crazy. You never tell me anything. I don't tell you, but... Uh. Well, how am I supposed to know? I'm not a mind reader. Well, I, it's me, definitely. Uh, she, she doesn't tell you. She tells us, though. Uh, sure, <laughs> yeah, sure, hey. He dated, like, seven girls. Now he's saying it was me. Yeah, it's me, yeah. <laughs> if you want to know anything about her past sexual fantasies, you just call us, Yeah, okay? I'll call you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Hey, Antoine. All right, Bob. Me. Put that uh, on. Are me. you sure? You know, I'm sure. You, I do. you were. I'm All right, sure. she predicted you would say, definitely, it was him. Yeah, you did. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Michael, you devil, you. Look at the smile on his face. Definitely had to be me. Oh, I knew it would be, yeah, for sure. She said, <laughs> can you believe he said him? What would you, what's the card say, Juan? No, she did, pal. She Before said, we start dating, not when we are dating. Yeah. <laughs> right. Whew. I know your past. You know his I past? Had a lot of yes. D dull, boring? Yes. But yours Very was boring. But yours he stayed was... to himself. What? He stayed to himself. For she boring. know. For she know. Yeah. See, now I know he told me a story, huh? <laughs> yeah. For she know. I had a lot of things going on in my past. Did you really? <laughs> really? What about her past? Do you know anything about that? Yes, he know. Uh, yeah. 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 Does she have a lot of things going on? From what she tell me, yes. Woo! So how'd you get the answer wrong? Yeah. I had more going on. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let me ask you another question. Maybe get this next one right. Gentlemen, if, if I gave your wife a red magic marker and asked her to draw a big red X over the one thing on you that she'd most like to make disappear right now, what would she X out, Howie? That would have to be my uh, love handles. Your love handles. She's she said she would me. X out, card please, your hairy feet. <laughs> my hairy feet? Are you going to tell me they're nice-looking feet? My feet are okay. It's no, she said you got handles. Fred Flintstone feet, is what she said. My feet? Well, you ought to see her feet. <laughs> really? Jeez. Nothing Talk about as ugly as feet. Not as his feet. Antoine, what's she going to uh, X out on you? I can't imagine. You, uh, me either, Bob. You know, when but you're perfect, you're perfect, you know? My gut. Your gut? Yeah, my belly. Yeah. You know what she said? She said, your big, flabby, yucky <laughs> stomach, is what she said. <laughs> Why we gotta have jokes? <laughs> Andra, she said you got stretch marks right here. <laughs> and that's because I used to be real skinny, you know, but. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Hey, got Michael, married. what's she gonna X out on you, Mr. Perfect? I had to say my stomach, too. Your stomach. All right, she said she's gonna X out your stomach. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Bob. Uh, it's gotta be my bare belly. Gotta be the old belly. She yeah. said it has to be your gut. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, next question now. Gentlemen, how did your wife complete this sentence? Now, this is her talking. She said, if Ellen DeGeneres can announce on television that she's gay, the least my husband can do now that he's on TV is admit that he what? Antoine, uh, admit that you what? I scratch myself and smell it. <laughs> You don't just be sitting on the couch. Uh, Brandy either. said, it, ad, admit that, <laughs> admit that, uh, that you went clothes shopping at Walmart. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. Hey, let me see what you bought. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Antoine, you buy all that at Walmart? No way. Yeah. <laughs> This is not funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Then I walked out the room with a bra and her high heels on. <laughs> playing, though. You just playing. You what? Wait a minute, <laughs> Michael. You playing. <laughs> you put on her bra and her we high was, heels? I was, I was joking with her. Yeah, what else did you have on? That's it. That's all you and had my on? my shorts. My shorts. My shorts. Your shorts. My shorts. 
with her bra and her... Where, where do you high heels on. We was playing. I what, was playing what are your friends going to say? <laughs> they ain't going to say nothing. I'm a pure man, trust me. You're a pure man my right, foot. Right, <laughs> She said... She didn't say that. She said, you're crazy. <laughs> admit you're crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bob. Admit that he... I got to admit I'm wrong once in a while. You're I like wrong to think once I'm in a while. right sometimes. All right, she said admit that he... Uh, can eat a lot of food. <laughs> Never I'll been eat. a problem to admit that. That I make mistakes once in a while or that I'm wrong. That you're wrong once in a while. She yes. said at least you could admit that you can be wrong. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. You're going to Jamaica. <laughs> You'll enjoy a week at Couples, the all-inclusive romantic Caribbean resort, deluxe accommodations, award-winning cuisine, and unlimited premium wines and liquors. Plus, exciting land and water sports and island excursions. Have a wonderful time at Couples Resort in Jamaica. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Kramer. 25-point bonus question. Here it is, gentlemen. Which of the following shirts do you own more of? Sweatshirts, pullover shirts, T-shirts, button-down shirts. Couple number one, Michael and Wanda. You have 10, 25. I give you 35. Michael. I know this is right. Button-down. Button-down. She said you own more T-shirts. Couple what? number three, Howie and Cindy with 15, 25, and give you 40. Howie, take over the lead with the correct answer. I know she's, she was complaining when we first got married answer, that please. I have too many T-shirts. T-shirts. She said T-shirts. Hey. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, couple number two, Bob oh, and Linda. <laughs> hey, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's getting carried away. <laughs> couple number two, Bob and Linda, you have 20, 25, and give you 45. <laughs> <laughs> Get it right, you'll be in first place. What's your answer? What were my selections again? Your slides. Sweatshirts, pullover shirts, T-shirts, or button-down shirts? Uh, I'd have to definitely say T-shirts. T-shirts. She said T-shirts. All right. All right, couple number four. Antoine and Brandy Hill, you have 25. 25 would give you 50. Antoine, get it right. You're going to have to go to Walmart to get a bathing suit to go on your honeymoon. <laughs> oh, snap. T-shirts. T-shirts. Yeah! Well, thanks to all of our couples. Thanks to you. I'm Bob Eubanks. See you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.